These are pretty. <laughs> no, back up. Hello and welcome back to Sage and Stone Homestead. My name is Heather. Today we're gonna head up to Elkton, Kentucky. We've got a series of Mennonite farm stores that we like to visit a few times a year. This time of year is the best time of year to go up there because they bring in a variety of different pumpkins at really good prices and I thought it'd be fun to show you. But before we go, I have to get our chores done. I am actually not milking every day now. So today is not a milking day, so we just need to feed everybody. Some of you will probably notice that the barn is quite full of poo. You are absolutely right. So November is our barn clean out time. We do it twice a year. We're getting very close to November, so there's a lot of poo in here. Excuse me. This baby. He does not like to stay in his nest box. Oh, you've got a whole crew out. Good morning, girls. How are you? You do. Get down, Tori. Let's count babies. One, two, three, four, five. There they are. Okay. Well, these girls here, they're looking for more food. Normally I feed them two scoops of feed. I only had one today, so I don't have enough feed to feed the buck pastures grain today, which is fine. They don't need grain. The only goats that need grain are my milkers. But the hay that I feed, I feed it in the evening in this new hay trough that Levi just made. And it's an alfalfa mix, and so it's got a lot of really great nutrition, so they'll be fine waiting. One more. <laughs> No more zoomies now that the camera's on you? What's up with that? Huh? What's up with that? Hello? The goats that are in this barn and in this pasture have plenty of forage down by our pond. And so I don't worry about them during the day. They'll be down there filling up on leaves and brush, but the other pastures are much smaller. The forage is all gone inside those pastures. So we need to go feed them hay. <laughs> you don't want chin scratches, Holly? Fine, more for Shindy. Oh. Hey, Stormy girl. You Nigerians don't like chin scratches. I don't know what's wrong with you.
barely. <laughs> I ran out of grain, I apologize. Good morning. Sorry to scare you, sweetheart. Look at how pretty these eggs are. Oh, it looks like I should have brought a basket, but I didn't. Earlier in the year, we purchased a new flock of colored egg layers. I really wanted some olive eggers, which are these ones. And then we also bought a breed called a crested cream leg bar. They're supposed to lay true blue eggs. So we have these as well. And I also bought silver lace red wine dots, which lay like a tan brown egg. But so far this morning, they're all blue and green. Isn't that beautiful? Are you guys desperate? I'm out of grain for the day. That's the bull right there. Hi, sir. Hello, sir. You're gorgeous. What a handsome boy. Is it ideal to feed goats their hay or anything on the ground? No, it's not. I have been feeding this way for a couple years simply because of the sticker shock of some of those you know, stand, freestanding hay feeders that keep the hay off of the ground. We do plan on building some. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do that. But that's the bare minimum that needs to be done in the morning here on a non-milking day. So now we gotta pack up and go shopping. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's get a post. I remember. Here, look at this one. Dude, it's been a while before we went here. Large jack o' lanterns, ten dollars. Look at that. That's this one. That's a good one. See, that one's only five dollars. Look how big that is. I think that's so much. Ornamental peppers. That is so cool. These are the kind that I like. The ugly ones. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that one. Awesome! These are pretty. It's a big jelly Look at the one. color. It's not a jelly one. I swear. Five dollars. He's big. Big squash. They have the warty ones, honey. I love them. <laughs>
what you get. Hi. Bone saw. Is that the one you're looking for? They don't have, this is the option. That's the option. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I thought there was one in a box. It's a bunny. It's, well, unless I missed it, <laughs> but. Cool. Another one of these. I've also been looking into getting a sauce maker potentially. I could use a food mill for the same purpose. So I don't know if a true sauce maker is really necessary. This might be more versatile. <laughs> Pick me a good one. A good morning one. <laughs> Pretty. It's a white ghost pumpkin. White delight. Well, that was a fun trip. It is always fun to head up to Sodder Farm. And while we were up there, I did stop in at Tractor Supply because my local Amish feed store doesn't sell these goat care pails. These are not expressly necessary to give. This is something that I like to give my buck pens, especially in winter. This has protein as well as minerals in it. And the most ideal mineral to feed to goats is a loose mineral. They just generally have higher concentrations of specific minerals that you're looking for, especially copper and selenium. Sometimes those are hard to come by in a decent quantity inside any kind of mineral. I really needed more than the two pails. These are the two pails that they had at the store. So I went and ahead and got one of these Billy Blocks. I don't like these as much. This goat care pail has a proper calcium to phosphorus ratio. And that's very important, especially with buck goats and weathers. Weathers are castrated male goats. So this particular goat care pail has two times more calcium than phosphorus. And that's a good ratio when it comes to buck goats. This Billy Block here basically has a one-to-one -one ratio and it's not ideal but I don't give these all the time and I think that giving something like this is better than giving nothing. Back up, back up, back up. These guys actually had one of these already inside their house, but sometimes they lose interest in them, especially if a goat poops in them or they get super dusty. So I'm gonna give this one a good rinse and we'll give it to one of the other pastures. Let's go put this in your house. Come on, let's go put it in your house. See, this pasture already had one, but it's pretty far down, so I can use another one. Oh, Odie. Goodness. Here you are. 
You don't know what to think of it yet, huh? It's all right. My girls are fed a loose mineral inside the barn. I am out of that as well. I gotta go get feed tomorrow. But that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me out on another shopping adventure. We don't do that very much, so it's pretty fun when we get to. Mm -hmm.